Vientiane is the busy capital city of Laos. But just a few kilometers upstream on the Mekong River, the scenery is completely different. Laos is the most rural country in Southeast Asia, and around 40% of rural dwellers live below the poverty line. Yet, in Santong district, a small revolution is afoot. A social enterprise is pushing for organic agriculture and promoting technology transfer and fair trade. Its goal is to help the development of poor Lao communities and preserve biodiversity. Organic farming uses ecological approaches to improve soils, to grow, in our case, vegetables, rice, beans, primarily, and we we'll use a range of organic insecticides for our pest management as well as intercropping to manage the growing of our vegetables as well as the management of our insects. This farm is also a training centre for local farmers who come here to learn new organic practices. Some are simple, as using flowers to attract beneficial insects, or the use of the neem tree oil, a natural insecticide containing azadirectin an active ingredient that repels pests. Other techniques are more complex, like vermicomposting, that uses worms, in this case African night crawlers, to turn organic waste into worm juice, an organic fertilizer rich in nutrients. We promote a lot of diversity in our growing system, so not to just grow one crop, but to grow different varieties of crop and one crop to help the other. It could be a legume, helping a crop that needs nitrogen, soybeans with rice, soybeans with corn. So this is an intercropping, it's done throughout the world. This farm employs 10 full-time workers, and 60 other families are growing rice organically for agroasia in their own plots. Guy, the farm manager, believes this has a positive impact on their health, since here chemicals often cause skin diseases and chest problems. He even tells of a farmer who warns his staff that eating the same vegetables they are growing and selling is a health hazard. Lao doesn't produce any insecticides or pesticides, so normally it would be written in the Thai language or Chinese or Vietnamese languages. So pesticides and insecticides and herbicides are used by word of mouth and typically people think the more the better and so this is how often we get overuse of chemicals. The products of Egregie are sold in their fair trade shop in downtown Vientiane. The customers are both expats and locals who accept to pay more than they would do at the market to eat an organic product. Improving the livelihoods of people through organic farming would come through a higher price for their product in the marketplace. Um, our rice farmers typically get 10 to 15 percent higher on return on their rice than non-organic farmers. Two or three hundred dollars for a poor family is a significant amount of injected cash. So you then have enough money to send your child to a hospital when they get sick or you have enough money to repair the tractor when it breaks down. So it's not a matter of a lot of money, it's a matter of uh, a significant amount of money in a poor person's life is able to go a long way.